Greetings everyone, Sean Galloway with ProAct Safety and welcome to another video of Safety Culture Excellence. For those of you that are weekly subscribers to the podcast series or have seen some of our other videos, you might pick up that I've got a little bit of laryngitis. Essentially, for somebody who speaks for a living, sometimes speaking can be a dangerous thing. Uh, I lectured all last week and, and I did a little bit of speaking over the weekend and again, the past couple of days here, I've been doing a lot of talking and I guess my uh, throat has become a casualty of that. So hopefully I can take it easy over the next couple of days. I'm re recording this right now in Istanbul, Turkey. And over the past couple of days, I've been doing a lot of speaking. I've been doing a lot of listening and I've been using a fantastic interpreter to be able to make sure that the communication has been effective. And that's kind of the topic of, of this video here. There was a book that I first read back in 2006, I believe it was, by a gentleman by the name of Tim Sanders, and it was called Love is the Killer App. And he brought up an idea in that book that I first heard of there and have since been exposed to multiple times. He called it the return on attention. Just like return on investment, if you're putting energy in something, finance, whatever, if you're putting energy in something, are you getting a return on your investment? Well, think about that in communication. I've had to think about that over the past couple of days working here with this site and working with interpreters. As I'm starting to lose my voice, I have to look at this and say, I have to be a little bit more choosy in what I want to say. I tend to communicate with a lot of stories. Of course, I get to the point as quickly as possible. But for people to really understand the big picture, I tend to use a lot of stories. That way they can interpret it and they can connect their own dots, so to say. So I talk in a lot of stories. That way people can really understand all the possibilities and the ideas that we're trying to share. Because that's typically what we do. We share a lot of ideas and we ask some very specific questions to get people to think about these opportunities so they can discover and learn their own techniques to improve safety. So as I'm starting to as I'm starting to share a lot of this as my voice is decreasing, I have to pay that much more attention to the return on attention that I can get from people when I'm talking. So think about that. What's the return on attention from the messages that you're sharing with the people that you work with or the people that work for you? There's another excellent book that I've recommended to so many different people. It's called Made to Stick. It's by Chip and Dan Heath, two brothers. And you can't miss it if you're looking in a bookstore, if you're looking on Amazon or something. It's got an orange cover with a piece of, of duct tape across it, which then again, my associative mind always goes back to a bumper sticker that my partner Terry Mathis once told me about that he saw. It said, silence is golden, duct tape is silver. <laughs> I kind of like that one. But if you're going to be sending messages, kind of the premise of this book is, are the messages you're sending sticky? And that kind of goes back to the return on attention. Realistically, communication is hyper-competitive. There's so many different things that people are being communicated to about. But remember, as Drucker said, Peter Drucker said, communication is something that the receiver does. Communication happens on the receiving end. Just sending an email to somebody and saying, I communicated to them, I disagree. You sent an email, but communication happens when knowledge transfer occurs, when the other person's tuned in and turned on to what you're saying. So as I'm right now having to deal with wrapping this up in, in this business trip in Turkey, I had to choose less and less words because my voice is starting to go on me. I had to be very careful about all the stuff that I said to try to get the point across. So are you doing that? Are you putting a lot of unnecessary information into what you're trying to communicate but are you getting a return on that attention? If people walk away from that communication episode, that communication exchange, what's going to happen with that? So choose your words carefully, but make sure that you deliver your messages in a way that people walk away with the idea and it sticks with them. So go out and read that book if you haven't read Made to Stick. I highly encourage that you do so. And it gives all the different elements, not only give the book away, but it gives all the different elements about how messages are sticky. Just like how come we can all remember the last hoax or spam email that we received, but we can't remember the last corporate communication. Why is that? Well, in this particular book, Made to Stick, Chip and Dan Heath talk about the different elements on how to make your messages sticky. But beyond that, if you give information to people, what do you want them to do with it and what happens? That's really when communication is successful. 
So choose your words carefully and realize that the people that you're communicating to are also being communicated to about other things as well. Human resource information, uh, production related, schedules, budgeting. There's a lot of information that people are being exposed to. What are they doing with your information? Thanks for tuning in. Check out our other videos at YouTube or check out our other podcasts weekly at safetycultureexcellence.com. On behalf of all of us at ProX Safety, thanks for tuning in and thanks for all that you do to try to make this a safer world.